I've just finished studying my first year computer science at UCL. Is this course really as difficult as some people think? What kind of stuff did we do? I'm going to show you what I learned and also a glimpse into my uni experience over the past year. Let's go back to the start. Term 1. The teaching was mostly online, which was good, but also bad at the same time. Some of the good things were that we didn't have to travel into uni, we could pause and skip through the pre-recorded lectures, like put them on two times speed. Some of the bad things were, it wasn't as engaging as in person, and we didn't get to know our classmates. Also, staying inside can be quite depressing. We had four modules in this term. So the first module was Comp 2, Principles of Programming. This is where we learned the basics of programming in C, as well as pointers, arrays, memory management. Uh, and then we also went over a functional programming language, Haskell, which I'd never heard of before, but apparently it's used a lot in the real world. So in ENGF1, Engineering Challenges, we had a group project with the Tripoli students, and we had to make a control system for a vaccine bioreactor plant in Uganda. I'm serious. But yeah, we worked with Arduinos, ESP32s, which was kind of new to me. This whole module, it kind of depended on the group that you got. If they were good, then you were fine. Then we had ENGF2, Design and Professional Skills. In this module, we learned the basics of Python, debugging, testing, data types, and stuff like that. And our professor for this module really liked retro games. So for each of our assignments, there was a different retro game. There was Frogger, Tetris and Pac-Man and yeah it was quite a fun module to be honest but then we also had to do a presentation and report on ethics which I didn't really like and then finally comp 147 discrete maths this was actually the easiest module of the entire year and it was just set theories and matrices if I could go back and give myself some advice um, it would definitely be to go out more and go to more events meet new people then we move on to term two this honestly was quite a big step up from term one in terms of uh, the workload and also the difficulty of the content. It's also when my sleep schedule went from okay to just non-existent. To be honest, I still haven't fixed it right now. I also moved to a new accommodation which was right next to campus and this to be honest was probably the best thing that I could have done and it gave me the flexibility just to just go in whenever I wanted to university, um, go to any motives or just study in the student centre. I also met most of my friends in this term which is kind of weird because most people meet them in term one. So we had four new modules in this term. So the first new module was Comp 3, Theory of Computation. There was so much content and tons of theory in this module and I mean a lot. We had to do logic and there were some mind-boggling questions. And then the second part of this module was finite automator and Turing machines. People that did A-level computer science actually found that I helped them quite a bit in this module. And then there was Comp 4, Object Oriented Programming. In this module, we learned a lot about object oriented programming and also how to code in Java. So things like encapsulation, polymorphism, and abstract classes. Our coursework for this module was basically to make a notes web app in Java, which I actually liked, um, but I know some people on my course that hadn't really programmed before, and they found that this was quite tricky for them. We also had Comp 11, Maths and Stats, which was basically A-level further maths, to be honest, so the content wasn't too bad. There was stuff like complex numbers, functions, sequences and series, and there was barely any stats. I'm not gonna lie though, the exam that we got set was pretty hard. And then the final new module of this term was Comp 5, which was Algorithms and Data Structures. And this module was probably the most useful one out of the whole year. We learned about time complexity, big O notation, data structures like linked lists, binary trees, and symbol tables. And then algorithms like bubble sort, di jik jikstras, dijkstras, depth first search, and then just a few other ones. Bellman Ford, Kruskals, Prims, Kosaraju Sharia, Knuth Moritz Pratt, and there were still more after that. So yeah, quite a few algorithms that we had to do. But yeah, this is really useful stuff because we're gonna need this for future coding interviews, for internships, or even jobs. And then we get to the final term of the year, term three. Unlike other universities, we had three weeks of just exams. So the way that our course worked is that we didn't have any exams during the year, just courseworks and assignments. And then in our final term, that's where we had all of the exams. It was kind of a scam though, because we had to pay for the full term of accommodation and also tuition fees. All of our exams were online and open book, which definitely made it a lot easier. And we also finished quite early, so our last day was May the 11th. But yeah, there's not much to say about this term apart from stressful, and I'm really glad that exams are over now. 
So how did I find my first year at university then? Although it got off to a bit of a rocky start with um, making new friends and managing the workload, I definitely enjoyed this year at university. I learned so much and I met so many amazing people as well. There are definitely many things that I could have improved on. These include my sleep schedule, my diet, my time management, a lot of things. But yeah, that's basically my first year summed up. I tried to fit it all in one video. Time to grind Leetcode all summer, I guess.